Guillain-Barre syndrome. Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS, is an autoimmune disorder that causes acute demyelination and degeneration of the peripheral nervous system, which results in acute, ascending muscle weakness and paralysis. As mentioned in my multiple sclerosis video, demyelination occurs when the immune system attacks the myelin sheath, which is a protective sheath that covers nerve fibers of neurons. But instead of affecting the CNS in multiple sclerosis, GBS affects the peripheral nervous system. GBS usually occurs after a recent respiratory or GI infection that triggers an immune response. Infections that may cause GBS include Epstein-Barr, influenza, the Zika virus, and gastroenteritis. Influenza vaccination has also been associated with causing GBS, although it is rare. Signs and symptoms. GBS has an acute onset that usually presents within one to six weeks after a recent infection or vaccination. GBS is usually a single attack and does not relapse or reoccur like multiple sclerosis. GBS is characterized by sensory loss, followed by symmetric, ascending muscle paralysis, in which the muscle weakness or paralysis starts in the legs and spreads upward to the arms, lungs, neck, and face. There is also areflexia, or absence of reflexes. GBS can affect the intercostal muscles and diaphragm and lead to respiratory compromise, which is a priority in GBS. Remember this for your nursing exams. Early signs of respiratory failure include inability to cough, inability to lift the head due to severely weakened neck muscles, shallow breathing, dyspnea, and hypoxia. A negative inspiratory force test measures the maximum inhalation effort after exhaling and is done by a respiratory therapist to determine the risk for respiratory compromise in GBS. GBS can also affect the cranial nerves and cause facial weakness, dysphagia, or difficulty swallowing, dysarthria, or difficulty speaking, putting patients at a high risk of aspiration. GBS also can also cause autonomic dysfunction and lead to hyper or hypotension, cardiac arrhythmias, and urinary retention. They can also have neuropathic or muscle pain in the back and legs. Diagnosis GBS is usually a clinical diagnosis that is made based on presentation and physical exams. Electromyography, nerve conduction, and MRI can be done to rule out other causes. A lumbar puncture can be done to obtain cerebrospinal fluid, which may show a normal amount of white blood cells, and an elevated CSF protein level that is present in 80% of the patients at two weeks following onset of symptoms. Interventions most GBS patients, up to 85%, will achieve independent ambulation with recovery. GBS treatment is focused on shortening the course of recovery. The standard treatment for GBS is intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG, and plasma exchange. Similar to blood transfusion, IVIG is a plasma-based infusion therapy that delivers healthy antibodies from donated blood to GBS patients intravenously. IVIG is dosed based on weight and is given over a period of five days. It can cause transfusion reactions like hypotension, headache, nausea, rash, and acute kidney failure. Tylenol and Benadryl are given as premedication to prevent reactions. This is usually done by the bedside nurse. Plasma exchange or plasmapheresis is similar to dialysis, in which it filters out antibodies and protein involved in GBS via a central venous catheter. Plasmapheresis requires specialized training and may be done by a dialysis nurse. Nursing interventions for GBS include monitoring for signs of respiratory compromise and intervening quickly as about 30% of GBS patients require mechanical ventilation. Monitor for possible aspiration. Enteral feeding through an NG tube may be needed. Perform or assist with regular oral care to prevent aspiration pneumonia. Initiate fall precautions due to the muscle weakness and possible hypotension. Perform passive range of motion and involve PT and OT. Intermittent catheterization may be needed for urinary retention. Start on a bowel regimen to avoid constipation. Prevent DVTs due to immobility with use of sequential compressing devices. Assess for risk of pressure ulcers and reposition every two hours. Here is a summary on GBS for any of your nursing exams. GBS is an autoimmune disorder that causes demyelination 
and affects the peripheral nervous system. It usually follows a respiratory or GI infection with an acute onset in one to six weeks. GBS is characterized by symmetric, ascending muscle weakness that can lead to respiratory compromise, which is a priority in GBS. It can also cause dysphagia, hyper or hypotension, cardiac arrhythmias, urinary retention, and neuropathic pain. Standard treatment for GBS include IVIG and plasma exchange.